Here at the foundation station we have great terrain, a very diverse terrain. There's bluffs and rocky screes, there's open pasture, meadows, wet creeks, dry creeks, lakes. Um, and this is the first time that Hannah's really experiencing meeting a creek. As you can see, she's a little apprehensive about this. And Hannah's done such a great job in becoming much more responsible for staying soft and following a feel. But you can see here, she starts getting a little pushy as she gets anxious about getting her feet down into this creek. So Bruce is just trying to support by keeping her going forwards. He'll let her just stand and gain some confidence, but try not to get her to retreat or think of turning tail and running off. Some rhythmic pressure to help motivate those feet, even if just a step at a time, just to encourage her forwards. So sometimes there's lots of ways to help a horse and we don't have to do it all from the saddle. As you can see how much easier she found that by Bruce getting off and leading her. He didn't have to send her through it. He could just get her to follow that feel. Get her to understand that it's okay for this ground to come away to get softer. And truly in itself this is remarkable if you first knew Hannah because she could be pushy in, in following the field online. So the Pegasus Project have done a great job in get, helping her get soft, follow that feel. So let's see how she feels about this creek now. Great, even with the dog in the way. Fantastic. And that's so much about what this is about for us. It's changing things up, finding a different way of doing things so it doesn't become a battle and ang anxious for the horse. So there's another little creek coming up. Little dip. Yep. And she took it just fine. I don't think she's going to have a problem with creeks and this is a horse I really think will make a really nice trail horse for someone.